Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Sadia. Welcome. Today I wanted to show to you guys four drugstore brow products that work. I'm just here to show you that good brows are accessible and you can find some stuff in the drugstore that work. As you can see, I'm not wearing any brows right now because I wanted to test out these brows for you guys and show you how they work, especially on my skin tone. So the first brow product that I'm going to go in is this one. This is called the Browy Wowy Brow Pencil. It's from LA Colors. It looks like this. It comes with a brow spoolie. This is all a product that comes in here and this one is in the color dark brown. So I'm just gonna go in and demonstrate how I use this product. I normally just brush the brows up like that. Just so you guys know a little bit about my brows. I haven't done anything to my brows in over six years so this is how my brows naturally look and naturally grow they're healthy brows they're not the fullest but they're healthy so it looks like that it's kind of like a little triangle with a pointy edge to get into those far reach areas so I normally just like put it up to like there you know and then I normally start at the front of my brows and I try to make those little hair like strokes starting at the front and then I work my way out and I try to get a little bit more heavy handed as I um, go towards the middle of the brow and if you guys can see this brow product is a drier consistency so for you guys who do not like brow products that are moist or are liquid or gel this would be like a brow product for you if you're not good with not making a mess then I would recommend this brow product for you look at the difference I picked this brow product up at my local family dollar and it was only two dollars and I've actually been using this brow product for over a year now so I pretty much know how it works and I'm telling you, you can accomplish an everyday workable brow with this as well as you can go far out and do like the Instagram brow it's all a matter of how you use this brow product so that's like a natural looking brow isn't it just so you guys know I'm not the kind of girl who spends hours on end on my brows I'm just I just want to put something on there I want it to look like it's been done and yeah so I think it's reasonable brows it's reasonable brows for the price as I say I've been wearing this brow product for over a year and I swear by it. it's like I really like this product and I use it it's amazing it works you know what I mean and you can intensify your brows with this depending on how much pressure you add to it but seeing that I'm just wearing a nice soft look I didn't want to add too much to my brows because then I, I kind of look crazy and then I also have like more intense brow products that I'm gonna show you guys so I'm gonna erase this off my face and I'll be right back okay guys so the next brow product that I'm gonna show you guys is the elf brow pencil this one is in neutral brown it looks like this it comes with a spoolie on one end and then it comes with the product on the other and you just wind this up that is about how much product it comes with. Um, I've actually been using this for a little bit. With this product, I'm really sorry that I didn't get like a warmer brown because this neutral brown makes my brows look a little ashy. And I just saw the color and picked it up. I wish I had just like scrummaged through um, the brow section when I picked up this brow pencil to identify a color that will totally match me a whole lot better. I also like this brow product because it is a bit of a drier consistency as well. It works. Um, it wasn't very expensive was completely inexpensive I mean anybody who wears makeup knows elf is quite inexpensive yeah I feel like it has a similar consistency from the last product that I used a drier formula really gives you a natural look but you can also build it up to get a more intense look I don't know if it's doing any justice right now. It's for the girl on the go, you know, who just wants to fill in her brows. It's for the faint of heart, you know. This is my work brow. And if you guys can tell that ashy tone that I was talking about, like, this is neutral brown, by the way. So I would totally shop around for a better color. I'm sure if there's neutral brown, then there's like a warm brown. But um, for all my neutral loving ladies out there or males, I guess this color is for you because it is not for me. You guys can see I have 
warm tones in my complexion like I'm very warm so the fact that this is so like neutral bugs me out but I'm gonna show you guys what this looks like out another natural looking brow I mean it's cute it's not Instagram brows even though I do think you could build this up to be like Instagram brows especially if you um you know clean up the brow with some concealer or like a concealer pencil you could totally get like an Instagrammable brows but as I mentioned this color is not my favorite and I just need to get a better color to um, make this product work for me but it was very inexpensive and I feel like it's a brow product that works this color doesn't work for me but the product itself I recommend it and it do work so let's move on to the next product so I'm back and I tried to clean my brows off as best as I could the other brow product that I have it's actually one of my favorite brow products from the drugstore it's really amazing I like this formula because it's just a little bit moist and it really gives me really nice precision and nice coverage on my brows and I just love how it also holds down my brows just because of that moisture that I'm talking about this one is the color icon from wet n wild and as you guys know I really love wet n wild products especially because they're cruelty free but not only because they're cruelty free but because they make really affordable products that are just iconic and really good like really good like you know like just consistently doing amazing things in the drugstore so this one is brunettes do it better brow product looks like this it is a pencil it comes with a spoolie um, it comes with something covering the pencil itself and another one covering the spoolie I really love this product guys like just watch me use this product I absolutely positively love this product and love how it works so I normally sharpen my pencil almost every time that I use it I normally sharpen my pencil I'm just gonna brush my hairs up like I normally do and with this product I like to outline this portion of my brow and then I like to lift my brow so I do that and then I fill in the brow. You don't want to make too heavy off strokes because this is a moist product and it will clump up on you if your hand is too heavy and you'll be trying to brush it out and it's just like when your brows laying flat like what you talking about you did this you know so you definitely want to use a light hand with this and you don't want to put too much product on because you'll find out that when you're brushing this out everything just comes together you see how intense that look yeah you just want to brush that out like oh, look how intense that looks this is the instagram brows especially when this is cleaned up i love this brow product i get my perfect arch with this brow product i feel like it affords me the opportunity to get that nice little arch going the contour 2 palette i only use the two darkest shades but i normally use just what's on the back here so i pick up about that much product not a lot you can barely see it on there and I just go underneath the brow see that you just want to use the extra product on the brush that's already under to just run through the front you definitely want your brows to look natural I don't know about you but I don't I don't my Instagram brows is not the same as the Instagram brows you know what I mean my Instagram brows is just a little bit more toned down and a little bit more natural looking everybody's version of Instagram brows is different I feel so then I would also with the same amount of product on the brush I just go around it clean it up a little bit you see the difference between that one and this one that is how I do my brows and I do the same for the other brow it's there that needs the most product right there right there right there is where it needs the product the most and then we're gonna go up in the arch and then we're gonna bring it down and cut that brow right there see that and then we're gonna kind of use the rest of the product on it 
as far as the front and then blend out the remaining product downwards. I want that product to move downwards to highlight the brow bone. And if I feel like I'm going to fuck up, I prefer to leave it unblended. I'd rather to have a brow that's highlighted than one that I can't get the same shape that I was aiming for. You may not like it, it may not look Instagrammable to you, but to me, honey, honey. I mean, come on, is that not a good brow? Is that not a workable brow? And I'm telling you, these brows are long lasting, okay? They stay on. You don't necessarily need to set this brow. I personally don't like to use other products on this brow when I use the Color Icon product. Because it's so moist already, it kind of sets my brow in place. And I find that the more product that I put on it, it just, it just makes the product inconsistent. So I try not to add anything else to it. I feel like it has the, the perfect consistency for just like a one step brow and go instead of putting on your brows and then setting it and you don't have to do all that like all that is not necessary with this brow product this is my favorite drugstore brow product i wouldn't lie to you as you guys can see it looks good on me it works for me it's a really good color this color is brunette's do it better it's the perfect color for me i mean i've fucked up and gotten the wrong shade and it, it just was not it was not mm -mm, it wasn't it wasn't working for me so i absolutely positively love this brow and this is my instagram brow and look guys I got this brow in under like under 10 minutes who wants to be spending 20 minutes on their brows not me like this is my Instagram brows this is how I love to do my brows this is the product that I love the most out of all of these products that I have to show you guys okay so let's move on to the other brow product okay guys so you know by now my brows are hating me they're like why are you putting me through this like stop it's kind of like dyeing your hair and like undying your hair like three times already so they're not irritated right now but they're just like wondering like what's going on stop you know so we're gonna move on so the last two products that I have for you guys are two brow products from elf <laughs> trust me there's a difference wait for it now this one is the round one pay attention guys this is going to be important if you really want to find this product okay this one is the round one and this one is called the lock on liner and brow cream this one is in the color espresso guys look color espresso very intense okay get with it okay the next one is guys I'm not sure what this one is called but it's in the square too so look round square there's a difference and you guys are going to see the difference now because I don't want this brow video to be too long I'm going to put on both these one on one eye and one on the other now these are both cream products as you guys can see I've used that one a little bit so I'm going to go in with the color coffee from the brow this is just like a brow pomade type product I'm gonna dip in here and I'm just gonna fill in my brows I would say this product is for the faint of heart it does some work it's not too hard to work with it's easy to clean up it's not something that's gonna go crazy and haywire on you like it's doable I recommend it for people who want to start getting into pomades and just want something that isn't too much and is gonna do too much my apology and with this product you really Really don't need to set it I find that the more you put on your brows the more they just begin to look a little weird if you're using a pomade and it sets your brow there's no need to add more product to set your brow when your brow is already set you know what I mean this is the coffee as you guys can see it works I wouldn't add unnecessary product to my brow that isn't needed you know what I mean and guys it's already a little stiff and it gives you those nice kind of hair like strokes it's already set let's go into the other brow product I'm gonna use a different brush and you guys are going to go crazy like this brow product is so intense like it's too much that I barely ever use it because I just find it to be just a tad bit intimidating and you only need a little bit of this guys check this out You see the difference already? And that's little to no product on, like look. There's barely any product on here. Barely any product on here. You just have to be light-handed with this. You don't want to use this with the same amount of product as you use with this. You want to use a quarter of this on you. And I'm being very minimal with this product because I know how it works. And I've actually had the drawn-on brow look from this product already. 
so I know I just need a little bit of it. This product is very pigmented. I may not be doing a lot of justice to this, but guys, there is a huge difference between this brow and that brow. Like, even the colors are different. The intensity of the product is different. This one that I'm putting on to this brow, it's way more pigmented. I mean, you can achieve the traditional Instagram brows with this product. Like, you wanna go deep? You, you can go deep. And this is me using this particular product very lightly because I know the intensity of it. I just wanted to share these products with you guys because I know a lot of us out there were on a budget. I don't know if you guys can tell the difference between this brow and this brow but I see the difference. This one is definitely more intense. This one is a little bit more light and it's not just because of the color. I mean the consistency and the pigmentation of the product itself is far different. There's there's a difference. There's a, the, the, like, there's just a difference. I don't know if you can see it. I, I, I don't know how to explain it to you, but this product is for the faint of heart. This one isn't, okay? So if you know you're a beginner and you want to get into using pomades and stuff, you can use this product, which is the one in the square container. If you're a pro and you want something that works like the top of the top name brand brow product, the dip brow or any of those, and you want something that's a little bit more affordable, this will do it for you, okay? So thank you guys for staying and sticking to the end of this video. I'm so glad that I could film this video and show you guys just some affordable alternatives I'm sure some of you guys probably know about these brow products already if you don't I'm happy to inform you because I, I love informing people about things not just beauty or essentials or affordable products but just things in general I, I just wanted to say also is just keep smiling <laughs> keep loving life and do your best thank you guys so much for watching my channel if you aren't already like comment and and subscribe to this channel for more informative videos like this. Peace. <laughs>